prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And we pray that like her, we too may always be attentive to God's Word and may be obedient disciples of Jesus. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary foremost among the poor and humble to be the mother of, your, of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters, for you realize that we will be judged more strictly. For we all fall short in many respects. If anyone does not fall short in speech, he is a perfect man, able to bridle the whole body also. If we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we also guide their whole bodies. It is the same with ships. 
even though they are so large and driven by fierce winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot's inclination wishes. In the same way, the tongue is a small member and yet has great pretensions. Consider how small a fire can set a huge forest ablaze. The tongue is also a fire. It exists among our members as a world of malice, defiling the whole body and setting the entire course of our lives on fire, itself set on fire by Gehenna. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed and has been tamed by the human species, but no man can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With it, we bless the Lord and Father, and with it, we curse men who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this need not be so. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will protect us, Lord. You will protect us, Lord. Help, O Lord, for no one now is dutiful. Faithfulness has vanished from among the children of men. Everyone speaks falsehood to his neighbor. With smooth lips they speak and double hearts. You will protect us, Lord. May the Lord destroy all smooth lips every boastful tongue. Those who say, we are heroes with our tongues, our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? You will protect us, Lord. The promises of the Lord are sure, like tried silver, freed from dross, sevenfold refined. You, O Lord, will keep us, and preserve us always from this generation. You will protect us, Lord. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved Son. Listen to Him. Suddenly, looking around, the disciples no longer saw anyone 
but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. Then they asked him, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He told them, Elijah indeed will come first and restore all things. Yet how is it written regarding the Son of Man that he must suffer greatly and be treated with contempt? But I tell you that Elijah has come, and they did to him whatever they pleased, as it is written of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, St. James, in our first reading today, talks about the tongue. Tungkol sa dila. And St. James warns us about the destructive power of the tongue. St. James says, The tongue is a very small member of the body, and yet it has great pretensions. And it is like a fire that can set a huge forest ablaze. Napakaliit, pero parang apoy na pa kayang sunugin ang maraming bagay. St. James also tells us that the tongue is so powerful that it cannot be tamed. Sabi niya, mabuti pa nga yung mga hayop na papaamo natin, pero ang dila napakahirap amuhin. We cannot tame our own tongue, so much so that with the tongue, we praise God. But also with the same tongue, we curse others. Yung ating dila ang siyang nagpupuri sa Diyos, nagsasabi ng praise the Lord, ang nagsasabi ng mga mabubuting bagay sa Panginoon, ang ginagamit natin sa pananalangin, pero ang dilang din yan ang nagmumura nagsisinungaling, naninira ng kapwa, ng chichismis, at nagsasabi ng kung ano-anong bagay na nakakasakit. St. James concludes the reading by saying, My brothers and sisters, this need not be so. Hindi pwedeng ganyan. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, we ask ourselves, how powerful is your tongue? How wild is your tongue? Gaano ba katalas ang aking dila? How many forest fires have I caused because of my uncontrollable tongue? How many reputations have I destroyed because of gossips that I spread? How many relationships have I ruined because of my imprudent speech? How many people have I discouraged 
because of the things that I say. Ilang tao na kaya ang nasaktan dahil sa aking dila. Dahil sa mga salitang lumalabas sa aking bibig. Ilang relationships na kaya ang aking nasira dahil sa aking mga pinagsasasabi. St. James also tells us today, My brothers and sisters, this need not be so. And so the grace that we ask God today is the grace to be able to tame our tongue so that we may use our tongue to bless, to praise, to inspire, and to encourage others. And one way to tame our tongue is to learn to listen more. Our gospel today is about the transfiguration of Jesus. And in this event, there are many wonders that happened. The clothes of Jesus became dazzling white. Moses and Elijah appeared, conversing with Jesus. And the voice of God the Father was heard. This is my beloved Son. Listen to Him. That was the command of the Father. Listen to Jesus. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, if we only learn to listen more, we will be able to tame our tongue. Because listening makes us wise. Listening makes us prudent. Kapag hindi tayo nakikinig, kung ano-ano lang ang sasabihin natin. At napakarami sa atin ang salita ng salita nang hindi naman nakikinig muna. Salita ng salita, hindi naman nag-aaral muna. Salita ng salita, pero hindi naman nagsasaliksik muna. Basta na lamang may masabi, kahit walang katuturan ang sinasabi. And that is dangerous. That is the tongue going wild because it is uncontrollable. What will tame our tongue if we learn how to listen first? I remember one saying, God created us with two ears and one mouth because He wants us to listen more and to speak less. My dear brothers and sisters, let our prayer today be, Lord, open my ears and tame my tongue. Please all stand. <clears throat> when our Redeemer was transfigured before Peter, James, and John on the mountain, they saw the glory of God. Let us seek God's favor in our prayers. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church, through their preaching and guidance, may lead us to the glory of our heavenly home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the transfiguration of Jesus may make us aware of God's constant presence and glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may aspire to be in the company of God with Mary, 
and the saints in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that our beloved dead may enjoy the blessed vision of divine glory. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people we promised to pray for and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, increase our faith as we make our journey through difficult moments of life. Help us to recognize your presence in the people we live with and your hand in everyday events. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Holy, Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please hold stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. <clears throat> Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Bye.